It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Tuesday, the 28th of November. I'm Michael Groff. Another fairly quiet day here. Temperatures a bit above average with some mid and high level clouds around, but no sensible weather other than that. Our next opportunity for some rain. Yes, a little light rain possible as early as tomorrow night, but the better chances come in here by late Thursday and Friday across the state and some high elevation snow possible as well. Of course, the usual questions, where, when, and how much will there be? Yeah, we'll talk about that, plus the potential of much cooler weather in here for the weekend, too. The coolest weather we've had so far this season, just in time for the start of meteorological winter. All right, a lot going on. Let's talk about it first. Here's that almanac from yesterday. 75 degrees the afternoon high, 52 the morning low, 71 and 49 are those averages. Outside now here at 545 a.m., we've got mostly cloudy sky. Again, high clouds out there. We're sitting at 57 degrees at Sky Harbor, dew point 35, humidity 44%. It's a calm wind, and the barometer steady. The upper-level weather pattern across the nation, troughing for the east. That's pulling down a lot of cool air. And uh, yes, freezing temperatures down to the deep south and maybe the Gulf Coast tonight. Out here in the west, there's the dirty ridge that's sitting out here. We call it the dirty ridge because... There's cloudiness and energy that is undercutting it. We have kind of a zonal flow here over the southwest. But with that ridge in place over the Pacific Northwest, the air is rather stagnant, <clears throat> and that is allowing for some dense fog and air stagnation advisories. And obviously, with temperatures below freezing, that's freezing fogs. We have freezing fog advisories as well as air stagnation advisories for much of eastern Washington, Oregon, parts of Idaho as well. And uh, then for the uh, Gulf Coast, we've got some freeze warnings down there, Mobile, Alabama, over toward the Florida coast along I-10 there. And some lake effect snow possible in the eastern Great Lakes today. We'll watch for that. Speaking of the convective outlook for today, yeah, there could be a little thunder snow around Buffalo, New York, upstate New York. And for the Northern California coast, a little thunder with that storm system that is coming in later tonight and into tomorrow. Here's the precipitation outlook. This is valid through Tuesday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix, generally at or under one quarter of an inch. Although we could see heavier amounts across northern Arizona, the high country of eastern Arizona as well. And some of that, especially up there, seven, 8,000 feet, you're going to see that in the form of of snow, Flagstaff. Yeah, you're going to get a little bit of snow out of this, it sure looks like. And we'll talk about what's going on with this weather pattern in more detail. And to do that, we'll explore the models. Here you go. The GFS, the 06Z run at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Big trough again for the east. All that cool air being pulled in. High pressure here. Low pressure just to the west, though, off the uh, California coast. And so what it's going to mean for us down at the surface for today Plenty of high clouds around, uh, partly sunny sky, high temperatures today. Uh, pretty warm, though, with kind of a southwesterly flow developing. Uh, we should see highs getting up into the mid, maybe upper 70s. In fact, I wouldn't even be surprised if the warmest desert spots of southeast California or southwest Arizona touch 80 degrees. How about that to uh, close up the month of November here? And, you know, that's not too bad because we're going to see temperatures starting to trend down here. Now, tonight... Partly cloudy, lows, generally mid-40s to low 50s tomorrow. Again, some sun in the morning. We'll see increasing clouds by the afternoon. You can see some rain off to the west of us. High temperatures tomorrow should drop a few degrees, although I suspect we'll still be in the low to mid-70s. Now, on Wednesday night, this initial push, this initial little wave is going to come through, and that should give us an opportunity for a few showers across the state. But, boy, uh, there'll be very widely spaced and nothing overly meaningful. However, we could see a shower here. We'll put a 20% chance of rain in for Wednesday night here in Phoenix. And then on Thursday, that'll move on out. It will actually be between systems here and uh, high temperatures, a little bit cooler. Let's say upper 60s to maybe low 70s for the day on Thursday. Now, here comes the next system. It's a bit more powerful on Friday. Now, Curiously, the GFS doesn't really show anything here. Uh, Thursday night, Friday, it actually keeps us in Phoenix pretty dry. But we're going to put in a 50% chance of rain for Friday. And high temperatures falling back further, likely staying in the 60s. 
Now, Friday night, the rain should still be with us uh, off and on, but then it'll move out by Saturday. It looks like a pretty nice day overall. High temperatures uh, likely only in the upper 50s to low 60s. And that'll be, again, the coolest weather we've had so far this season. And so it's going to actually feel like winter just in time for the start of meteorological winter on Friday, December the 1st, so, and Saturday. So that should be nice. And then Saturday night, Sunday morning could get kind of chilly. We could see lows getting down into the mid to upper 30s in the coldest valley spots. Low to mid 40s for the urban core. And then Sunday, <clears throat> more the same. Highs, low to mid 60s. Mid to upper 60s on Monday. The sky turns sunny here. A week from today, this is Tuesday, the 5th of December, troughing the east, a ridge out here in the west. And that's right, temperatures would go back to somewhat above average levels. We'd be back probably in the low to mid-70s if this works out. Going out 10 days. How about this, though? This is Thursday, the 7th of December. We've got another little compact low coming on in here. A little kind of a strong feature, though, that could be. And uh, if that turns out to be accurate, then another chance of showers could come in here by about 10 days. But I'm going to caution you, as I always do when we show you this stuff, especially this season, uh, we have seen a number of different solutions here. And, uh, you know, we'll just see. This is 10 days out. And I guarantee you this will change plenty of times between now and then. Checking out rainfall for Phoenix off of the GFS Ensemble. And this goes out through the 12th of December. The mean on this has actually come down quite a bit, under two-tenths of an inch. The European Ensemble is a little bit more bullish on precipitation, uh, around a quarter, a little over a quarter of an inch. Uh, but you do have some members that show nothing at all. You've got others that are up around an inch. So, hey, look, still a decent model spread here. But the idea is... No really significant drought-busting widespread rain events here. A decent shot at rain on Friday, but that's going to be about it for a while. Temperatures off the national blend of models. Yeah, pretty warm today. And then uh, you see those temps dropping into the 60s this weekend. And I suspect we could be cooler than what's shown here, especially on Saturday. Uh, right now, our forecast going with highs 58 to 62. We might have to adjust that, but at this point, it looks like that could be the coolest day of the period. Then we'll gradually warm it up, and by next week, highs are right back in the mid, maybe even upper 70s. Going to feel a little bit weird. You know, Christmas shopping, and you got shorts and a t-shirt on. You got the air conditioners going again. <clears throat> and that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video is due back here tomorrow morning. Should you happen to enjoy these videos, then be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. If you really like what we do here, you want to support us monetarily, you can do so by clicking on that little thanks icon below the video here on YouTube and uh, make whatever generous contributions you can. $2, $5, $5,000. It's all good at all of it helps us out and keeps the channel going. So really do appreciate that. The executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation and proprietor of sweetchildaz.com.org and the Facebook page of the same name, Sweet Child Arizona. Talking about my Michelle. So yeah, you better go ahead and check her out. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. All of your continued support, as always, so greatly appreciated. Please, please, please do be safe out there and have yourselves a beautiful Tuesday.